Jordan here, founder of Holy Yoga, and welcome. I just get to spend a little bit of time with you, um, just sharing the Word of God. It's I, my favorite thing to do, so uh, thanks for being with me on it. Um, 2 Corinthians 3, uh, verses 17 and 18, um, it's sort of um, like a banner over Holy Yoga, this um, scripture. I'm going to read from The Voice, but it says um, in the NIV that where the freedom of the Lord is, or I'm sorry, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Um, it's kind of a banner over the ministry of Holy Yoga, sort of banner over all of our lives that we go, God, you need to come. I need your spirit. I need a, an infusion of your spirit so that I have freedom. I have liberty. I have access to something greater than myself. Amen. Who doesn't need something greater than themselves today, right? Um, but I'm going to read to you from The Voice, um, and it's 17 and 18, and it says this. Uh, by the Lord, what I mean is the Spirit. And in any heart where the Spirit of the Lord is present, there is liberty. Amen? I love that in, in the heart, not in the mind, not that we perceive that there is a Spirit, but that we indwell it, that there is this interaction with the core of who we are, the center of who we are, the heart of who we are, has an interaction with the Spirit of the living God. And when we have an interaction with the center of our being, right? It says in the heart. He doesn't say in the mind. He doesn't say in the body. He doesn't say in the natural realm. He says in the inside of your heart. The word core, or the word heart has a, um, the original word is core, which means the center of your being. But it also has an intonation and an inclination that says it's everything that's ever been a part of you. So it's your uh, will, it's your determination, it's your past, it's your experiences, it's your deduction of your value and your worth. Everything is stored in the inmost place of your heart. So God says, where my spirit is, in, the, in our hearts, there is liberty, there is freedom. So what God, in his godness, in his goodness and his godness and his grace and greatness, he will intersect the things that lie in the center of our being. And he will bring us into freedom and healing and restoration. So he goes on to say, though, in verse 20, um, I'm sorry, in verse 18, Paul says, where the spirit of the Lord is present, there is liberty. Now all of us with our faces unveiled reflect the glory of the Lord as if we are mirrors and so we are being transformed into his same image from one radiance of glory to another just as the Spirit of the Lord accomplishes it I love that with unveiled faces when we turn our so our heart gets pricked our hearts start to to respond to the Spirit of the Lord there's freedom that happens and with an unveiled face no shame no condemnation no guilt when we unveil our faces and we turn to face the Father we reflect the glory of the Father that is unbelievable we get to partner with the transformation that God wants to do in us with him right so we have this interaction but then we turn and we radiate then the glory of who God is in our lives and in our world I think that's amazing that's the kind of liberty I know that you're seeking I know that I'm seeking and it is accomplished nowhere except for in the Spirit of the Lord he gives all discernment all wisdom all matter of speech and all matter of knowledge so I am so encouraged today by that word that my heart even though it fails me that the places that are arrested in its development, God is interested in. He wants to do the liberating and transforming work of reconciling the totality of myself and of yourself to himself. And the gift, the get to, is that we don't ever arrive, we're just ever increasing in, from glory to glory. So I want to encourage you to get really thin today, make more space for the Lord, but in a really spiritual space, you know, like get with him, say, God, I want to be thin so you can be great. I want to be less so you can be more. I want to be um, small so you can get really big. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you soon again. Take care.